In this video, we will be covering the procedure to clean up an existing Hyperflex ESXi cluster for the purposes of reinstalling Hyperflex at a later date. Keep in mind that the procedure that we will be going over is in fact disruptive, so please ensure that all necessary virtual machines as well as data is backed up prior to starting this cleanup procedure. Before we begin, there are a few caveats to be aware of. Since this procedure will involve a reinstallation of ESXi on all of your Hyperflex storage nodes, you will need to be aware of what type of VMware licenses are currently installed on the existing nodes. If traditional VMware licenses were installed, then you may proceed with this cleanup procedure. If your Hyperflex nodes were shipped with factory installed VMware licenses, please contact Cisco Technical Support for further guidance. If your Hyperflex nodes are equipped with self-encrypting drives or said drives, do not proceed with this cleanup procedure and please reach out to Cisco Technical Support so that an alternate procedure can be performed. If you have a HX240 M4 server, you will need to perform an extra step of deleting the Storage Controller Virtual Machine folder since the Storage Controller VM is located on a separate disk than the ESXi boot device. So navigate to your SpringPath data store. Then click on Files. You'll see a uh, virtual machine folder for the storage controller VM. Click on that folder. Click on the red X. Then select Yes. If you are not using an HX240 M4 server as one of your storage nodes, please disregard this step. First, you will need to download the Hyperflex Cisco Custom ESXi ISO from cisco.com downloads. Select and download the desired ESXi image as this ISO will be used to reinstall ESXi on all of your Hyperflex nodes. Next, log into your UCS manager, which contains all of your Hyperflex servers. Right click and click on KVM console. This will launch the KVM console. Once the KVM console is launched, click on virtual media, activate virtual devices, click on virtual media again, click on CD DVD. Now you're going to find that file that you downloaded, the ESXi custom ISO. Select the ISO, click open, and then map drive. If you click on virtual media again, you should see the CD slash DVD is in a mapped state. Next, you will go and perform a power cycle. So select server actions, click on reset. When you receive this pop-up, hit OK. Select power cycle, click OK. Do this for all of your converge nodes. While the server's booting back up, when you see the Cisco splash screen, hit F6 on your keyboard to get into the boot menu. Once the boot menu loads, you'll see the Cisco KVM mapped VDVD that we mounted earlier. Select that and hit enter. When the ISO is booted, you will see the following menu. Please note that proceeding any further is disruptive as the ISO will completely reinstall ESXi. Select the top option for Hyperflex Converge node. Hit Enter. Then type ERASE in all caps to confirm that you understand that proceeding any further will be disruptive. Hit Enter. Once complete, allow the ESXi installation to complete. And as a reminder, these steps will need to be completed on all of your Hyperflex Converge nodes.
Once the ESXi reinstallation has completed on all of your converged nodes, navigate to the Servers tab in UCSM, select the sub-organization that was initially created for Hyperflex, click on the Service Profiles tab, and then Associate a Racks tab. Select all of your converged nodes, right-click, click Shut Down Server. Leave all of the defaults in place, click OK. After a few minutes, confirm that all of your Hyperflex servers are in a powered off state before proceeding. Next, we will perform a cleanup of the UCS configuration pertaining to our Hyperflex nodes. Click on the Server tab, navigate to your sub-organization, previously created for Hyperflex, right-click on the sub-org, click Delete. You'll get a pop-up notification, click Yes. Allow a few minutes for this process to complete. The final step is to perform a cleanup of vCenter. If you plan on deploying a new instance of vCenter for your Hyperflex cluster, these steps are optional. If you plan on using the same existing vCenter when you redeploy your Hyperflex cluster, you will need to perform the steps that we are going to cover now. As a caveat, if your vCenter is currently being used by multiple Hyperflex clusters, please do not proceed with these steps and contact Cisco Technical Support for further guidance. First, we will need to delete the existing vCenter cluster which was used for our Hyperflex node. Right-click on the cluster, click Delete. When you get this pop-up, click Yes. Allow a few minutes for this to complete. Once the vCenter cluster has been removed from inventory, log in to the managed object browser of vCenter by typing in the vCenter IP slash MOB. Once you log in to the managed object database, click on content, scroll down until you see extension manager, click on extension manager, Click the More option to list out all of the extensions. You'll see a minimum of two Spring Path entries within the object database. One is for the Hyperflex plugin, and then you will see one entry per cluster that is registered to this vCenter. In our case, we only have the plugin and a single Hyperflex cluster. So click on Unregister Extension. and type in the string for both the extensions. Once you've entered in the string, hit invoke method. Make sure you get a result that says void. Now I'm gonna do the same thing for my plugin. Click invoke method. So click on Refresh in your browser. Go back to Extension Manager. Click on the More option and verify that there are no Spring Path plugins present. Your Hyperflex cluster has now been cleaned up and you may begin reinstallation of Hyperflex from the on-prem installer or through your Intersight account. In this video, we have covered the procedure to clean up an existing Hyperflex ESXi cluster for the purposes of reinstalling Hyperflex. Thank you for watching.